Hello, VIP Kid Teacher Stephanie here uh, with just a quick video on uh, what to expect from your referring teacher um, with VIP Kid. Um, the simple answer is there um, cannot really be a standard expectation. There are no requirements from VIP Kid for what a referring teacher um, needs to do um, with the referrals that they um, that they either tell from word of mouth about VIP Kid or um, maybe you know leave a post somewhere um, online on a job search engine or on Facebook um, or um, just you know dropping that link everywhere for people to click on. It'll automatically um, add you to their referrals list. So beyond that. VIP Kid doesn't require um, referring teachers to do anything. Um, you might not even know who your referral is if you're just leaving your link everywhere. Um, so there's not um, a standard um, requirement, but some things you can look for and some things you can ask about if you're looking for a referring teacher um, would be um, the most important is probably the one-on-one -on -one assistance. Um, are they going to be there when you have questions? Are they going to be able to give you um, knowledgeable answers? Are they going to be there um, in a timely manner? You know, are they going to answer you three days from now or, you know, maybe an hour or two from now? Um, I try to answer my referrals even faster than that. Um, I use Facebook Messenger a lot, sometimes email, um, but Messenger is almost like text messaging, so it's super quick. Um, so I like that one a lot because sometimes like my referrals will need tech support right before they go into their mock. Their audio is not working suddenly and they want to know what they can try or, um, you know, they realize that their headset, um, you know, in the classroom isn't um, popping up, you know, how can they find it, um, different things like that. So I try to answer my referrals as immediately as I can. So that's something to look for. Um, probably the most important thing is the one-on-one -on -one assistance um, or your questions be answered and, and will it be quick. And um, another thing that I do for my referrals that a lot of um, referring teachers um, will do is, is walk through videos. Um, so walk through videos, um, to help you execute each lesson. There's uh, two different options for your interview. Uh, there's Mach 1, there's different options for your Mach 2. And VIP Kid adjusts and updates these routinely. Um, right now is actually the longest time span I've seen them actually stay um, a little bit stagnant and a little bit the same, but I've heard that they're actually changing um, the Mach 1 right now, um, actually. So it's about to um, adjust. It's not gonna be changed completely. It's not a new lesson, but it's going to adjust. Um, so is your referring teacher gonna keep up with that? Are they gonna continuously make new walk through videos um, that reflect any changes so you have accurate information when you're trying to execute those slides and those activities. Um, so walk through videos are important. Um, beyond that, other videos, how to guides. I make a lot of how to guides. It might be um, something like this, um, using Manicam. Um, how can you add effects you know, to Manicam? How can you use this as a reward system? Here's the cute little butterflies and butterflies I was using this morning. Um, how can um, you upload a video? Sometimes they're too large and it doesn't work. Um, what are some um, different ways to make your profile introduction video once you are hired? Um, so I make a lot of how-to videos as well um, for my referrals to help them um, learn different techniques or learn how to um, do different things um, to enhance their VIP good experience. And um, I also have a lot of TPR and prop examples, props for each um, level, each lesson, each unit. It, um, within all of the levels so you know um, you know what you might need for um, level two unit nine lesson five you know what should I use for that lesson I've never done it before what can I grab quickly I like to keep all of my props surrounding me so I don't like to um, use organizers or anything but some teachers do um, so if that's your thing you know I've got a list of that TPR examples um, common um, TPR that's used throughout all the lessons a lot of TPR is kind of you know as you go you know making up as you go but there's um, structure alphabet TPR that's used. There's, you know, really basic um, signals like, you know, listening, you know, expecting the student to speak. Um, so I have things like that. And a lot of those things are in my Facebook group. Sorry, I keep looking down. I took notes so I wouldn't ramble on too long today. Um, but I have a Facebook group. Some referring teachers do that um, just to keep all the information organized, to keep it in one place. Um, referrals can ask me questions in there as well. Current teachers can ask me questions in there. Um, current teachers, I always assist as long as I need to. I have um, current teachers that I helped um, get hired over a year ago, six months ago, two months ago, and I still answer their questions in a timely manner um, whenever they bring those to me, either in the group or a lot of times by private messenger. People usually like to ask questions in private. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I um, I continue assisting beyond the hiring process as well. So those are the some things that um, I do 
and other referring teachers may do um, some things you can ask about before you decide to use someone's link or someone's code um, because once you are attached to a referring teacher they no longer change um, your referring teacher you used to be able to say hey I'm not getting any assistance can I switch here's you know the new code and they would do it but they no longer do that I think it just became too much of a hassle so now like when you're on your own you're on your own it's really rough um, sometimes when you need that assistance um, so you know just keep in mind different things that you can expect different things that you might um, be able to use um, to help you get through the process successfully and um, like I said um, there's you know there's you know a referring teacher that drops their link and you know lets you click it and never speaks to you and then you know there are a lot that will actually coach you through the entire process and mentor you and beyond and um, help you that way I'm not the only one there are plenty of other teachers that do that as well so just keep in mind all of the different things you can expect or you should expect and make sure that you're asking those questions before you um, add a referral code or before you click on someone's link that way you find a referring teacher that works for you because um, I won't say that every applicant you know and I <laughs> click right away sometimes there are communication errors and sometimes you know I might not be the perfect referral for them so um, you know make sure you find someone that works for you all right good luck lots of luck if you're already in the hiring process you can add a referring teacher if you're not already working with one um, before you schedule your mock one so my code is below if you would like to add me and you would like the assistance if you're already my referral that's awesome I'm happy to help you in any of the ways I just said you know and anything else you can think of so just let me know and um, if you're already a current teacher happy teaching thank you goodbye